What's up, y'all? How you doing? Neo Doodle here. So this is gonna be a video. This is recorded the same day as the legendary rant I'm doing. Um, I don't know how loud that is. It seems like I'm being pretty loud. Maybe I'll just mumble here. So I'm gonna do a review of the uh, 6.88e patch notes for Dota, and I'm gonna keep it like this so you don't know what's coming next and like. See how it's, uh, how, like, you can't, you can only see two notes. And I'm going to talk about each one and tell you, like, if I can't think of anything, I'm going to describe it as good. Like, good being, like, an amazing buff, like, this is going to be god tier, as, like, a 10. And one being, like, okay, this is a minor change. Alright, first off, Dragon Lance strength reduced from 14 to 13. Uh, I think Dragon Lance got reef, uh, or nerfed, sorry, recently. And this is just kind of a, uh, a kind of another reactionary thing, like, okay, the thing is, Dragonlance is very good, it's a very good item for, um, for any ranged hero, just about, I even get this on Medusa, like, most ranged carries get this as kind of like a bridging item, like, say if you're a ranged carry that, um, that wants to get, like, a big item first, such as, uh, Morphling or something, um, it's very good because it gives you, like, a bunch of good base stats, it makes you tankier, makes you hit farther, there's, it's just a very good all-around item. Uh, infused raindrop cooldown increase, that's not that big, two seconds, I mean, in Dota it would be. Illusions attack damage reduction against buildings from 20, increased from 25% to 30%, I'm guessing that's what the new, uh, how, uh, Shadow Demon has been uh, a lot more in play. Diffusal Blade cooldown increased from 2 to 4. That's probably uh, a thing with Omni. Basically what you could do is you could purge off like Repel and stuff like that. Uh, Outworld Devourer base armor reduced by 1.5. He was starting to get really broken and really out of control. So that's basically what they're doing to kind of say, Okay, we hear you complaining about OD. We'll nerf him. Uh, Shadow Poison initial damage reduced from 50 to 26, 34, 42, 50. That's pretty good. Just the thing is, it's very good early game, and that's going to really show up if you think about it. Like, usually when you had five stacks on someone, and if you could get a Soul Catcher on them, it was just a kill. Now it's they're going to have to work harder. Uh, flame Break cooldown increased from 14 to 17. That's Bat Rider's like, Molotov cocktail thing where you throw it out and it'll uh, blow everything back. Uh, Drow base damage reduced by 4, um, it's still a nerf, I don't think it's gonna, like, kill the hero, but still, it's, it's definitely gonna show up, you know? Any damage nerf will always show up in the long run. Uh, torrent damage reduced from 120, 180, 240, to 300, to 75, 150, 225, 300. Kunkka being kind of an early game to mid game hero, this is definitely gonna show up, because he's gonna do less damage until he gets level 4 torrent. Personally, I'm not a very big Kunkka player. I'm not sure if they max Torrent, but this is definitely going to be a big deal. Echo Stomp channel time increased from 1.2 to 1.3. I mean, it's not even a full second. It's not going to do anything. Uh, the thing about Echo Stomp, though, is with a good um, Elder Titan, you can pretty much hit these no matter what. And the stun is huge on that thing. I'm glad they're making them work harder. Uh, Oracle base damage reduced from uh, by 6. This is pretty big. Oracle is starting to come back into the scene a lot. He, uh, he was very powerful. He was like the go-to defensive support, more so than Dazzle, because he had offensive capabilities. Uh, Morphling Intelligence gain reduced from 1.5 to 1.1. Morphling is starting to be good again, and I think why they're doing this is because, say if you get ganked, you can just, oh, I better shift all the strength. This is kind of going to stop that. It's kind of going to be like, well, you can do that, but now you're out of mana, and you're stuck with all strength, and you hit like a wet tissue. So it's just kind of adding more of a higher skill cap to Morphling, as he was always kind of meant to be. He wasn't just, the second you see someone coming at you, just strength shift, you know? Uh, Starstorm Scepter on Mirana cooldown increased from 8 to 9. Not a big change, but any nerf to Mirana is good. She got way too powerful. Um, time dilation now only freezes abilities that are on cooldown, rather than also affecting abilities cast afterwards. This is very good. I honestly thought it already worked this way, because... Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> time dilation is very good. It's awesome. It's probably one of the best skills in the games. Um, basically, now it only... Like, if you just casted Sven's stun in his W and his R, it'll go down on cooldown. Not after. I'm glad this fix was made. It'll make the game a little better. 
Time dilation slow per frozen ability increased from 8 to 10%. That's very good, so voids have a more reason to take it early on. Uh, Tempest double gold and XP bounty increased from 140 to 160. Uh, I've noticed a lot of recent nerfs to Arc Warden because he's just, there's nothing you can do to make him terrible. Like, even though he gets nerfed like every other patch, he's still going to be good. I mean, think about it. You can just make a double of yourself and attack. The thing is, I'm glad he has a very, a pretty good bounty because otherwise when you kill them, it's like, well, good job you killed him. And, uh, you know, now the real one just knocks down your base. At least they're incentivizing people to uh, finally kill him. They really need to start... Uh, pl players need to realize that um, Tempest Double is kind of... It's it's now worth it to kill it. Like, usually if you go after a uh, an Arc Warden, you can probably kill both the heroes. Like, you usually bring enough heroes. Think of him kind of like... Oh, like a potent jungler or like an alchemist, you know, where it's like, oh, we left him alone for 10 minutes. All right, now he's jacked and we aren't um, moving right along. Juggernaut base damage reduced by two. It's not a lot, but the thing is Juggernaut quickly became popular again because he's kind of an all-around uh, solid carry because of his ultimates. It's basically a guaranteed kill. And he gained popularity uh, because of Kunkka. You can dodge Torrent, or uh, X, sorry, X marks the spot. And you can generally just get out of things with your Q, which is your blade spin. I know it's not called that, but you know what I mean. So yeah, uh, probably won't get the hero killed, but two damage will uh, show up. Counter Heroic damage reduced from 90, 120, 150, 180 to 75, 110, 145, 180. This is going to be a big deal, because as you know, Axe usually gets most of his kills early game. But it's not going to kill the hero because late game when he's got his blink dagger and his blade mail, he'll still blink on you and all that. Okay. Raquel, or, oh my god. Repel cast point improved from point, or half a second to point thirty five of a second. This is nice because if you don't know what cast point is, it's basically how long it takes for the hero to actually do the animation and cast the spells. It's going to be point fifteen seconds faster. You may not think that's a lot, but it kind of is. Uh, repel duration reduced from 6, 8, 10, 12 to 4, 6, 8, 10. So it's kind of going to be more of a reactionary thing. Like, okay, you see a Luna winding up her, or a Lena winding up her ulti. You're going to pop it on him. It's not going to be so much, all right, Terror Blade, get in there and push the tower while they can't do anything to you. I think it's going to be more like reactionary and it's going to be like a higher, kind of a higher skill thing, you know? Okay, moving right along. Uh, relocate delay increased from 2.5, 2.25, 2 to 2.7, 2 2.35, 2. Um, what I think they're trying to do is just so Wisp isn't just this monster. I haven't seen him a lot. He still probably gets banned. I haven't been watching a lot of pro play, but I've been watching a little bit. Uh, inner vitality bonus regeneration threshold reduced from 40 to 35%. Not a huge deal, but 5% healing. You know. Stifling Dagger cast range reduced from, this is on PA, from 1200 to 825, 950, 1075, 1200. I like this a lot. Um, I'm not a PA player, per se, but this kind of makes it so she has to work a little bit harder for last hitting, and so she can be zoned a little bit easier. Because what she would do is just pop daggers off. Like, oh, I can't last hit? I can still throw daggers. Uh, this is for Ricky Maru. Um, smoke screen slow reduced from 25% to 19, 21, 33, 23, 25%. Pretty good. Early game is pretty much a terror with smoke screen. Uh, people didn't really understand how good it was. I mean, it's like a massive silence and a slow and you can't hit. Uh, track mana cost on Bounty Hunter increased from 50 to 65. Not a big deal, but it'll make a difference, I suppose. Mana leak mana cost increased from 75 to 150. This is on Coddle. Uh, I think this is necessary. Mana Leak is very good. It needs to kind of have some repercussions for casting it. Because it's, it's amazing. It's like, okay, it's like a worse rupture. It's like, oh yeah, you put this on them. Oh, your mana's gone. You can't do anything. This is also for Coddle. Um, let's see, where was I? Illuminate Radius increased from 35 to 30, 375. Not a big deal. It'll just, you know how people kind of dodge it by an inch on the screen? This will kind of get rid of that. This is good. Blinding light knockback distance increased from 400 to 525. Very good. 525 is usually the average range of a ranged hero. Looks like a short patch. Um, Sand King movement speed reduced by 5. Sand King was pretty fast. 
Uh, timber saw base strength reduced by one. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, now I'm going to give you some secondary thoughts. Um, I kind of like here the repel and the, uh, the repel stuff. How it's, it's, it's now, like, it's like a nerf and a buff. I don't like when they just nerf something, like, okay, yeah, you're worse now. Um, I like it that they give you something to work with. They kind of, ch I like when they change the play style, like, okay, this has to be reactionary, not just toss it on them and say, all right, Timber Saw, or, I mean, uh, Terror Blade, go in there and punch the tower to death, you know, or use your demon ball. Also, there's one change I missed. It doesn't matter at all. Apparently, you could crash the game with emoticons. But yeah, this update came out the second. This is my first time ever seeing it. The last update was Pit Lord. Oh wait, October third. Oh wait, this is uh this is the recent one. Apparently, you could crash the game with emoticons. Anyways, as I was saying, this is the first time I've seen any of this. Uh, this video is going to be coming out tomorrow, and I hope you guys liked it. I hope it. Uh, Help you uh, get better into Dota. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.